There's one science that can help you read people like an open book and help them to always agree with you. It can also turn you into the most charismatic person in the room and help you overcome shyness. It's not magic, it's bribery. No wait, it's psychology. You know, people skills. If someone's trying to interrupt you by talking loudly over you, don't stop, keep speaking. The real trick is not to raise your voice. Keep it exactly the same as before. The person who tried to interrupt you will soon feel awkward and fall silent. People tend to rub their chins when they're trying to make a decision. They might be looking down, up, to the side, or pretty much anywhere. They don't even know what they're looking at because they're deep in thought. People are better at remembering what happened at the beginning and end of the day. All the rest tends to get blurry. It's a great tip when it comes to job interviews. Agree to a time that's either at the start of the workday or at the end of it. It'll make the employer remember you among all the other candidates. When you feel as if you're being watched, start yawning. And make sure everyone around sees you do it. Yawns are super contagious. Look around discreetly and check if someone's yawning too. If so, now you know who's been watching you. Never start your request with the words, could you? The other person will subconsciously assume it's a theoretical question. Then the answer yes can mean, yes, I theoretically could, but I didn't agree to it. Could is polite, but it's better to rephrase your request to, please do it. Whenever you feel stressed or anxious, chew something. Chewing will inform your brain it's safe to relax. If you didn't get a good night's sleep, tell yourself that you did. Scientists from Colorado College found out that if you genuinely believe that you're well-rested, even if you're not, your brain does function better. If you need someone to agree with you, do a lot of nodding while you're making your point. It might not work with everyone, but nodding gives the impression you know what you're talking about and are passionate about it. It'll make people believe in what you're saying. If a group of people start arguing, go grab some food for them if you have some at hand. Eating has a calming effect and everyone loves a good snack. They subconsciously start to feel happier and more comfortable. That's why getting them to eat will likely break the tension. If you feel that awkward silence between you and a person you want to get along with is stretching for too long, ask them a question about their life. Even the shyest and most reserved people love talking about themselves. After that, they'll feel obliged to ask you a question in return, and the conversation will flow. If you like someone's offer in general, but would like to get better conditions, pretend to be a bit disappointed. This method can work like magic with a high price or a low salary. If you're always worried about whether or not you locked the door or turned your iron off, try saying some absurd phrase while doing these things. The phrase should be different every single day. For example, you say, green rabbit, and turn the iron off. The next time you start doubting if your iron is off, you'll remember saying this weird phrase. It'll help calm you down. When you're approaching a group of chatting co-workers or friends, and they see you coming, pay attention to their feet. If you're welcome to join the circle, their torsos and feet will turn toward you. If they turn their bodies toward you but not their feet, they'd rather you not join in. It could also mean they were gossiping about you. Enthusiasm is contagious. That's why, if you need people to accept your idea, Get as enthusiastic and excited about it as possible. When people see this kind of attitude, most of them can't help but feel the same. If you ever want someone to feel uncomfortable, stare at the middle of their forehead during the conversation. Most people say it makes them feel as if they're under scrutiny, which of course doesn't exactly help to relax. When you meet someone for the first time, pay attention to their eye color. You don't need to remember it or anything. But this action will give you the perfect amount of eye contact. It's a crucial part of any social interaction, and how long it lasts is even more important. 
not enough and you look untrustworthy and shifty, too much and it's outright creepy and uncomfortable. If you need a person to do something for you, ask them to do you a bigger favor first. After rejecting something more difficult, people are more likely to accept a more easy-looking request, which is exactly what you need. If you want someone in the office or class to like you, just ask them to explain something to you. It doesn't matter if you know the answer or not. This will improve the other person's overall attitude towards you and earn you some extra brownie points. When someone's swinging from their heels to their toes, it shows that a person feels anxious about something. On the other hand, if it's not swinging back and forth, but rather bouncing up and down, a person might be feeling confident. Do you tend to immediately forget the names of people who've been introduced to you? Here's a trick. After you get to know someone's name, use it a couple of times right away. It'll help you to reinforce the name in your mind. Plus, the person you're talking to will take to you immediately. People like hearing their names because it makes them feel important. If a person is really concentrated on a task, you can extend your hand toward them and get anything they're holding at the moment. They might not even remember it later on. The trick works the other way around, too. You can give a person something as you're talking to them, and they won't even notice. It's amazing how much more authoritative you'll sound if you say that your mom or dad told you this or that information. Most people respect their parents and believe their words wholeheartedly. That's why if you say you heard something from your parents, others will subconsciously take it more seriously. If a person hasn't given a complete answer to your question or hasn't agreed with your point of view yet, keep silent after they've finished talking. It's a sure way to make people proceed. If you have to speak in public, don't forget to take a bottle of water with you. You might need it if your nerves turn your mouth into the Sahara Desert. Plus, you can take a pause to sip some water and remember the part of your speech that slipped your mind. The audience will never know. Another trick for those who feel too anxious to speak in front of a large crowd, admit it to the audience right away. It'll lighten the mood, calm your nerves, and make your listeners feel more sympathetic. Most of them will probably relate. If you don't feel comfortable meeting new people, trick your brain into believing you do. Once you start acting as if you don't feel anxious, your brain will have nothing to do but adjust. If anxiety is still there, pretend that you know all the people you're going to meet. It'll help you feel more at ease. People like it when you listen to them attentively. A good way to show that you're paying attention is to rephrase what they've just said. It'll prove that you understand and care. To make people in your social environment trust you, admit your unimportant mistakes to others. People will perceive you as an honest person who isn't afraid to show their vulnerable side every once in a while. This will eventually work to your benefit. For example, people would be more likely to listen to your opinion in a dispute. If you see someone collecting imaginary lint, this person's likely to disagree with something. They don't want to voice their opinion aloud and use a so-called displacement gesture instead, expressing their disagreement in a hidden way. Got it? Good.